Welcome to the Alpha Training and Consulting's online training program. Today we're going to answer the question, what is gauge R&R? That's an important question to be able to answer. Uh, keep us in mind, should you ever desire to have an ASQ certification? Uh, we have been preparing ASQ certification exams for over 20 years, and we've become very good at it, and we would love to have you as one of our students. With that being said, let's get back to the question, uh, what is gauge R&R? &R? And to explain this, let me go to the whiteboard. All right, here we are at the whiteboard. And to start out with, I'm going to explain sigma of the process. We've already talked about sigma in past lectures. You take the majority of the distribution, which we call the spread. You divide it into six equal lengths. That's a sigma, right? Okay, but now we're going to find sigma of the process. Okay, because what's going to happen, let's say I'm making this pen and I'm measuring the diameter. Okay, good enough. And so it ends up with this distribution, and here is sigma, what we call sigma of the process. There's going to be a lot of sigma talk going on here, and it's easy to get uh, mixed up on all these sigmas I'm about to talk to you about. But sigma of the process really consists of two things. This is the sigma we always work with, or often work with, <clears throat> but sigma of the process actually consists of two sigmas. One is sigma of the part. That's what we really want to know when we measure something and uh, create the distribution. We want to, we think that's the sigma of the part, but it's not, it's more than that. So sigma of the process, it can be broken into two components. One is sigma of the part. There we go. And another component of this is sigma of the measurement system. Sigma of measurement. There we go. So there we have two components that are very important for you to remember. The sigma that you're always working with, you think it was sigma of the part, it's really not. It's sigma of the part plus sigma of the measurement process. So hopefully everyone's comfortable with that. And by the way, the way we add sigmas together, this is very important also, the way we add sigmas together is like this. So we're going to add these two together. There we go. And this is how we do it. We go sigma of the process equals sigma of the part squared plus sigma measurement. I'm just going to put sigma m there because I'm running out of room. So sigma of the process equals sigma of the part squared plus sigma of measurement squared, and then you take the square root of it. Okay? That's how we add standard deviations together. Now this is going to be very important in what we do later on. So again, sigma of the process equals sigma of the part plus sigma of measurement. Now, let's go back and answer the question now that you know that, because you need to understand that before we can explain what gauge R and R is. What is gauge R and R? Gauge R and R is the sigma of measurement. Okay, so I'm going to write that down here for us. Gauge R and R, very important for you to remember, it's very simple. Gauge R and R equals sigma of measurement. Sigma of measurement. So they mean the same thing. Why do we name them? Why do we give it two different names? Because measurement people who are always working on measurement called it gauge R and R. And the statisticians call it sigma of measurement. So, and they grew up in different necks of the woods here, okay? So they created their own vocabulary. And you're going to find that while you, throughout your studies of measurement. You have two words. One the statisticians call it, one the measurement people call it. And so that's what sig gauge R&R &R is, a sigma of measurement. This is the most conceptual thing that you need to understand about gauge R&R. &R, is that it's nothing more than sigma of the measurement system. And what is that again? Well, remember, we had the process distribution, which was sigma of the process, which consists of sigma of the part plus sigma of the measurement. Okay. 
And so, but this is the process. Let's say this black curve is the process distribution. Process distribution. Well, within this distribution is another distribution that comes from the variation of, you've got it, of measurement. Which we call gauge R and R. So sigma of the process, the rest of that variation is sigma of the part. And uh, so hopefully that makes sense because now I'm going to break it down even further for you. And we're going to talk about more and more sigmas. That's why this can get a little bit confusing. Gauge R and R, what is it? It's sigma of measurement. Okay, now what does R and R mean? That's the next question. Well, R and R is this. 1R stands for repeatability. Repeatability. That's what the measurement people call it. And this R, I'll use a different color, why not? This R over here is reproducibility. Bad they didn't make shorter words, right? <laughs> okay, so now we're going to take sigma of measurement and we're going to divide it into its two components. One is reproducibility, one is repeatability. And you can call it sigma of measurement or you can call it gauge R and R, same thing. It means the same thing. Now, so we broke sigma into two components. What do these two components mean? Repeatability, reproducibility. Repeatability is sigma of the equipment, the measuring equipment. Sigma of the equipment. Okay, That's what repeatability means. If you're taking an ASQ exam, they'll always test you to see if you know repeatability is sigma of equipment. But there's one other word. Most everything in quality has three words associated with it. And uh, so it has three names. Repeatability, sigma of the equipment, the measuring equipment itself. And this is also called precision. This is what precision is. Most people think precision has something to do with accuracy. It doesn't. It has to do with sigma of measurement. And the of sigma of measurement, there's an R and R component to sigma of measurement. One is repeatability, which is also called sigma of the equipment, and precision. What's my memory hook? It's very difficult to see sound, you know, a little bit alike. Reproducibility, repeatability. Okay? Sound pretty close alike. My memory hook is this. There's two E's. That means the equipment. The equipment. All right. Now let's go over to the other side here and look at pre... Uh, reproducibility a little closer because reproducibility is sigma from operator to operator. It's the variation that comes when you change operators. Okay, When you change operators. What else can we call that? It also has three names and that is reliability. If you're taking an ASQ exam, obviously, they're going to test you on all these things to see if you know which one is which. If you know what gauge R&R &R is, sigma measurement, and uh, we can break sigma measurement into two components, repeatability, reproducibility. Uh, repeatability is sigma of the equipment. Reproducibility is sigma of operator to operator. What's my memory hook? Oh, there's one O there for what? Operator. That's how I keep repeatability and reproducibility clear in my mind. And uh, there you have it. That's really what gauge R and R is. What's the formula for gauge R and R? Well, let me show you. You already should already know this. Gauge R and R. Gauge R and R equals. How do we add sigmas together? Equals the square root of sigma of the equipment squared plus sigma of operator to operator squared. That's the mathematical formula for gauge R and R. It's taking two standard deviations. What else could we call this? Let's put it in its other forms. We could also put uh, repeatability squared. 
there's not enough room, so I'm going to cut it short there, truncate it if you will. Repeatability squared plus reproducibility squared. So you may say it put in this terms or this terms and this gauge R and R may be sigma of measurement. And that's what gauge R and R is. Okay, let me ask you a question. Precision. Precision. Is that sigma of the equipment or sigma of operator to operator? If you said sigma of equipment, you're correct. Okay, what about reliability? Oh, reliability, that's the same as sigma of operator to operator, also called reproducibility. Precision is also called repeatability. So that's it for today. So there you are. Hopefully you feel more comfortable with what gauge R and R is. We'll spend more time with that in later lectures. But uh, if you have any questions, please contact me. Uh, of course, you can visit my website there at www.alphatc. I also have a, a, a website for all of my different certification prep classes. So you can stop this and uh, look at those addresses and get the one that you're most interested in. It'll take you and give you some very specific information on those classes. So very good. Remember, we'd be happy to be your teacher to prepare you for the ASQ certification exams. Thank you and have a great day. Goodbye.